Yo, what's going on Ian Peeps? Welcome to another video. Okay, today's video, I will finally be able to explain how to get better in Apex, but these are going to be advanced tips. So I'm going to assume how you already know the basics of the game, reload, shoot, everything like that. Guys, if you need help with dodging and aiming, please look in the description below. I will put a link to an older video that I have done that can still be applied in today's season of how to dodge and aim better. I promise it will help you whether you're a controller player or PC player, but this video specifically is going to be advanced tips this is going to, I'm going to automatically assume you know how to dodge and aim for the most part this is all about like strategic position this is all about your situational awareness situational awareness is the biggest thing you could have for any video game I don't care if you're the best shot in a video game it does not matter unless you have good situational awareness what I mean by that is you could be the best best shooter in this game but you could still suck because your awareness is terrible so you have to know how to move you need to know when to heal you need to know when to thirst people pick up your teammates this goes for every game so if you really need help thinking about situational awareness i really recommend you start playing rts games real-time strategy games that will probably really really help because that one is all about strategy but just talking about this I will analyze some of my, some of these moments and I will explain to you what I'm doing, where some people can go wrong, how y'all would play it versus how I would play it. And so you can just watch by this whole fight how everything's happening quickly, how I'm swapping armors, moving around, but I'll explain everything. So the first tip, guys, before we really dive in this video, first tip on these advanced tips for situational awareness is number one, always take high ground. You always need to try to take high ground in a fight, especially in first person shooters if you are able to, okay? So number one is always take high ground. Number two is going to be think two steps ahead, okay? Two steps ahead. So when I'm fighting and I'm always taking high ground, I'm always thinking about my next step after after what I'm currently doing. So if I'm fighting somebody, I'm already thinking about where I need to go afterwards. So you always wanna think about two steps ahead in the current situation that you're in. Number three, guys, is predict your opponent. All right, so you need to predict your opponent's moves. This is the way my mind works in every video game, especially anything like first person shooters. I'm always trying to take high ground. I'm thinking about where I'm going next and I'm always trying to predict where my opponent's gonna go, what he's going to do, what he's thinking. This is the way your mind has to work in video games. It sounds like a lot, but it's it's not. It, it's uh, muscle memory, it's repetition. You'll get the hang of it, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into these clips. Let's analyze the data and let's use one, two, and three all in these so that you can get the hang of advanced tips and Apex so that you can get better. Okay, so looking at this first clip, guys, this is a 1v3 situation. We are the final two teams. I have to clutch this with crypto. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a crypto main or not. This will be better, I guess, for crypto mains, but you could be any legend. This is tips that can go beyond any legend, okay? So first up, I see there's three of them. Now, check out this armor. Why would I look at this armor this way? Am I thinking it's shiny? Do I just like to look at white armor? Nope. I'm trying to keep high ground, and I see this armor. I want to bait these three players to come after me so I can swap this white armor later. So check it out. I am a crypto main, so I'm going to bait them in with my drone that I'm on EMP. Like I said, each legend has a different strategy, but this is all situational awareness, so it does not matter who you are. So right here, I'm trying to bait them. I'm like, come on, guys. I'm just one guy. You know I'm just one guy. Here they come. Okay, so right away I EMP all three of them. So I'm gonna pause this right here. Check this out. All right, so all three of them, I see I have gold armor on the left. I have red in the middle. I have purple on the right. Which one would you guys push and what would y'all do? Just being honest, think about what you would do in the situation. My mind already knows what I'm doing right here. I see the guy in the middle and the right are past cover. I cannot get to them. There's no way I can push that guy on the with the purple armor and not get flanked by the red or the yellow. So I'm going to push the guy on the left with the gold armor because he's going to try to pop a shield cell and I've got high ground on him. He is soloed out. This is the way you want to fight 1v3 situations. You have to solo a guy out. So right away I'm pushing him he's got low ground high ground wins the fight and i'm gonna slow it down because i downed him how many of you would try to thirst him right here i don't thirst it's unnecessary guys because he might have a self revive yes but i really can't afford somebody coming up behind me so here it comes you can see the pathfinder is trying to come up and flank me i'm trying to back him off 
Check out my health bar. I'm watching my health bar the entire time. Here comes that white armor I looked at at the very beginning. So this is, look, step number one, I'm keeping high ground. I bait another guy in, use cover, bam. I kept my high ground. I have to run right here because I lost my armor. But two, I was thinking two steps ahead the entire time. I baited that, guy, that team for the white armor. Three, I'm predicting my opponent's moves. See, I predicted that this path, I shot before he even came around the corner. I could hear him. I knew he'd push me. Right here, I have high ground the entire time. I jump off my high ground because I know he's one shot. Right here, I know all three players are down, so I know somebody's got a self-revive. I've got to swap armor real quick. i got to figure out who's got the self-revive. So I'm looking around, looking around. I can actually hear the guy. Here he is in the corner. He used it, and voila, this team is eliminated, win the game on a 1v3 clutch. So in this next clip, guys, you can get an idea of how fast everything's happening. So if y'all do watch this video over and over again, I do want y'all to analyze how y'all would do it differently. Think about where you would go wrong, if you would go wrong, and what y'all would do differently. Okay, so in this fight, there's a lot of teams around us. You can see I set up my drone. The reason I set up my drone is I only have level one armor. I'm going to selfie and pee if I lose any shield. So I'm going up top. There's a wraith chasing me. Right away, I see she has purple armor. So I'm going to EMP. Check this out. I got a fresh armor grab. All right, pause it. Look at this guy right here. So this guy I'm already looking at. This is a new guy full sending me. I know he's got 150 hit points. Now, if I swap with this white shield, I'm even with him. This is an even gun gunfight. This is how fast everything happens. I knew I needed an EMP to back off the wraith. Here comes another player. We're one-on-one, -on -one, both the same armor, and I kill him. This is a moment where I have to thirst him. I need the armor swap. This is a moment where you just have to know when to thirst. All right, I'm going to slow it down. I've got a Bloodhound chasing me now. This guy's got full hit points probably. Right away, I can see I only hit this guy for 18. Check out my health bar. I've only got around 50 hit points. This guy has won this fight. I am thinking, even this is full, when it's going full speed, guys, this is what I'm thinking about. I'm two steps ahead. I'm predicting what he's going to do. He knows he's got me. I know I've lost. There's no way I can win this gunfight. Statistically, it's probably impossible. So what is he going to do? He is going to full send me probably around the right-hand corner. I want to get the heck out of there and heal. So I'm going to push left. I'm going to jump off the side. This is the kind of stuff you have to think about. I'm using tip number two, tip number three. There he goes. I'm not trying to fight it. Predict where he's going to go, predict your opponents, and then you need to always think two steps ahead. So I'm trying to hide from him real quick, pop some shield cells, pop a med kit. This is how fast everything happens, guys. This is how sweaty lobbies can really get, especially if you're playing ranked. This is even in pubs, and pubs with skill-based matchmaking has gotten very difficult. So I'm watching the top right right now. With my randoms, I can't really help them until I heal up. I see my teammate down somebody in the top right-hand corner. I know for a fact now we are probably just one-on-one -on -one, 2v1. So I'm looking for the guy. I mean, I've got the advantage at this point. I can actually hear him trying to revive down low. I immediately go down and take out this guy, and we end up winning this section. Okay, and this next clip is a fun 1v6. So right away, I hear this team coming up the zip. You can see them right there. I know I can't get high ground. I need to get away from these guys. So right here, I'm thinking two steps ahead. I'm predicting their moves. I'm going to use these boxes as cover. So I'm going to slow it down right here because I know they're coming. I'm using cover at this point. So I kill this Octane, and this is dodging and aiming. This, like I said, I'm... I'm just say you already know how to dodge a name really well. You're decent at shot accuracy. I'm using this tree as cover. I'm using as much cover as I can because I know I can't get high ground. Now check this out. Whoop! She just yeets right off the cliff. So this horizon helps me out a ton. So I'm still using the box. I'm making them come to me right away when I down these two guys. I know that she is off. Like she has to come all the way back up the zip. So I need to thirst these guys. This is the moment where you thirst. You got to know when to thirst and when not to thirst. Situational awareness. I know she's got to come back up the zip eventually. So I got, uh, got my armor, got my mags, got my ammo. Here she comes. I'm going to end up laser beaming her real quick. Okay. So here comes another team. You're going to see the grenade. There's the grenade. Same thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm trying to back them off right now. So I see that my ultimate comes out. I'm EMPing so I can heal, backs them off, and I'm using this cover. This is all situational awareness, guys. I'm thinking two steps ahead. I'm trying to make them come to me. This Pathfinder takes the bait. Bam. I'm not thirsting anybody right here. You see how I'm playing this. I'm using cover. I'm just working these boxes. I'm going to make the third player come to me just like the last team. I have to do it because it's a 1v3 situation. It is a lifeline, so I knew I needed to take her out right away. End up killing her. 
I know somebody's got the self revive, so I don't know which one it is, but I know somebody does. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. And it turns out it's this Wraith and bam, there goes these teams as well. And guys, even though a lot of these plays are crypto plays, this is for any legend. This is just situational awareness. So if you are a crypto main, this can help you with your EMPing. But overall, this is for any legend, any tips. I'm just showing you I'm using crypto doing this since crypto gets a bad rap. So right away, we EMP this team. I'm like, okay, I got a guy down here. I'm going to kick the door and kill him. Well, this is where I screw up. All right, so I didn't realize there was one on the outside, so I get laser beamed. Okay, slowing it down. Look at my health. I have, they, they know I have less than probably 120 hit points they lasered me so right here i'm thinking two steps ahead i need to get to cover there's no way i can heal tip number three i know somebody is chasing me because they know i'm weak so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this box on the left hand side think about what you would do and i'm gonna use this box on the left hand side i'm gonna try to take high ground so i want this pathfinder to see that i've ran around it i'm actually gonna get high ground slip right past him so i know i got his back exposed Right here, I shoot him for 130 damage before he's able to even recognize I slipped past him. That's the kind of plays you have to make, guys. This is the situational awareness. My mind is always thinking like this. I swap the armor real quick. I'm getting in the fight to go help my team. And you can kind of get an idea of how these lobbies really work and how fast these games can really, really go. So I move past that Pathfinder, able to come back in, help my teammates, and we win the fight. Okay guys, so now y'all can see a pattern. So what I want y'all to do is every gunfight, please, please work on these three tips. I promise they'll help. Number one, high ground. Two, think two steps ahead. And number three, predict your opponents. This will help you. Okay guys, right here in this care package, I see a Gibby right here on the care package. Why in the world would I shoot the Gibby first? Because I know he's got to throw his dome, right? I even called out. I'm saying I lasered a Gibby. He's got to throw his dome. So I throw immediately my drone to go EMP them. Check this out. I predicted his move. I called it two steps ahead and he threw his dome. I'm EMPing. It's a wrap. We know we've won this fight now. I shot the Gibby first because I knew he's going to throw his dome. The EMP destroys the dome. It messes up the team. You can see they are running for their lives. But this is what I was talking about, guys. So we had the high ground. Two, I was already thinking two steps ahead. I need to shoot the Gibby so he throws his dome. Three, I predicted the opponent's moves and we're able to win that fight. One player can make the difference for a team. So you guys can make the difference for your team. All you gotta do is increase your situational awareness. We're getting pushed by another team right here and you just kinda see the pattern. So guys, please watch this video over and over again. Think about what you would do in these situations, how you would handle them differently. Please analyze it. I will show a few more clips, guys, at the end of this. So guys, please, 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 if you like the video, please smash the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Sucks, dude. I couldn't see this chick down here. Ha <laughs> ha